Hey YouTube, remember me? I feel terrible that I haven't really made you a video in like forever. I think I haven't made one since July, which is absolutely terrible because I have over 100 subscribers and I haven't been making anything for you. Thank you so much for your support with the lecture series. If you missed the second one because I didn't put that on YouTube, you can watch it at livestream.com slash from time to time, no spaces in between the from time to time. It's fun, it's about food. And thank you guys for not unsubscribing during the lecture series. In the time since I last saw you, we had the fair, and I won one blue ribbon, three red ribbons, which is second place, and two white ribbons for third place. And I'm going to show you a bunch of footage from the fair as a thank you. I wanted to show you guys pictures that I ended up entering because I asked you guys for all your help, and you did help a lot. So, we have Sleeping Turtle, which or nothing. All of them are nothing. I'm not gonna go through that with each one. It's really pretty dandelion. The leaves. The bubble. The butterfly. And the turkey. I did win a lot of ribbons and I saw cute animals and I'm going to show you all the fair footage now so enjoy. Third place scrapbook. First place cookies. Second place cookies. No place cookies. Third place scarf. Second place blanket. Second place place. <laughs> The following footage comes from an event at the fair known as Mutton Bustin, in which very small children are allowed to ride very, very large sheep. You have to be under 6 years old and under 60 pounds to, com to compete. And this was slightly terrifying, though slightly hilarious to watch as well. There were some very impressive kids, like this one, and the less impressive. But it was pretty fun to watch. I would never do it, but you never know. The sheep were cute. It was fun to watch. Lots of kids just fell. Most of them did. There were some decent rounds, but most just fell. But the kids really seemed to like it, so I guess that's all that mattered, as long as they were safe. But it was it was a little hard to watch, not gonna lie. Now this is gonna be boring to watch, but incredibly impressive. They have to maneuver these two horses and giant logs around cones. I would never be able to do this. Yes, I live in a small town. Yes, I went to the rodeo. And this was the very impressive opening number. I don't think I'd be able to do that on a horse. Followed by, of course, the National Anthem. And the rock is the Followed by very inappropriate rodeo clown dancing, and possibly the funnest thing starting now. cow I've ever seen in my life. Neither of them are moving. Pretty much the cutest thing I've ever seen is this little duck eating. I now want a duck for a bet. Please give me one for Christmas. Come on, bud. song written so I'll put that up next time. Hope you guys enjoyed the fair footage and as always let me know what you think. I missed you!